name's Ronnie, um, Ronnie Radke, that's my full name, Ronald Joseph Radke is my full name, playing a band called the State of the Jay doesn't know. She's looking at herself in the mirror. I'm going to smash his whole body with ice. We're going to see how much trouble we can get into in one day. I've already gotten a lot of trouble on this tour. I got naked. I can't say anything else that I've done because it's really bad stuff. But, alright, you guys want to go to Starbucks? Come on! It's Kobe Bryant! It's Kobe Bryant! Haha, fuck escape the thing! You know what? Alright, that's the last time you're ever going to do that, Panda Boy! I'm dressed like escape the thing. Yeah, you are! Well, I'm gonna hide. I'm gonna fucking Later. See you in hell. Hey, where's your camera guy at? <laughs> nice Max from Escape the Fate. Play bass. Fuck shit up. Oh, hey. Oh, you guys ready? Oh, get this on film. Look, Max. That tattoo is sold out. 2007. El Rey, Los Angeles, California. Awesome. We're Escape the Fate. We're from Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, I think that's a very good thing. I gave him this amulet, and ever since then, he's had nothing but bad luck. It's great. I love it. Thanks. I dipped it in the blood of Satan. That's what I did.
A man convicted of battery is on the run tonight. Ronald Radke was found guilty for his role in the death of 18-year-old Michael Cook. He was shot and killed more than two years ago now. Fox 5's Bob Deninis is live near Shadow Ridge High School with the very latest on this. Bob. Shelly, this is near where the shooting happened more than two years ago. Tonight we talked to the mother of Michael Cook. She's still hurting, wondering how Ronnie Radke is still on the run. Take a good look, Ronald Ronnie Radke, the authorities searching high and low for the 24-year-old on the run a little more than two years ago. Radke and his friends met up with Michael Cook and his friends. A fight was supposed to go down. Things went bad, shots were fired. Cook was hit and killed. Radke was the one that challenged the fight in the beginning. Michael Cook's mother met with us out at the cemetery where her son is buried. She was surprised to find out Ronnie Radke, who still has a site on MySpace, which says he's online, once a part of the band Escape the Fate, jumped bail. Uh, you know what, yeah, I was kind of hoping that maybe he would follow through. He seemed in court that, you know, scared. And I, I really kind of thought that he would. The charges against the alleged killer were dropped. 22-year-old Chase Rader had a viable claim of self-defense. But Radke was convicted of battery, facing 18 to 48 months, was granted a five-year term of probation. But now, he's nowhere to be found. You know what, I tell him, turn yourself in and get the help that you needed. You know, you, you need help and you need, to, you need to turn yourself in, Ronnie. There's also a vid video of Radke on YouTube. It's still up there. The question still remains, where is this guy? I'm Bob Denennis for Fox 5 News at 10, local, Las Vegas. And Radke... You can ask me anything. All right, cool. So, you know, let's just go ahead and go with um, Q12. Take me through the day that you were basically taken into custody. Like, what happened? What did you eat? You know? Okay, I was in a... I t June 12th wasn't the day, it was uh, June 15th, I was, in, I was caught. This, it all happened crazy, because uh, they put me on the news, right? Yeah. Over a probation violation, but then they said parole violation, right? Right. But it wasn't, and they got it all fucked up. They put me on the top ten story, and then they said involved with murder, and then they brought the victim's family in, and, and what, what everybody really doesn't know is, is what really happened that day, you know what I mean? And, every, and you know, for the media and the public to... To see that, it's, it's just devastating, you know what I mean? So I was picked up uh, right after Father's Day, and they and, and they set my friend up, and they tapped my phone. They sent me to the fugitive unit. They thought I was in another state or country or something. So they tapped my phone, and they tricked me, and they had all these car, like these undercover cars and a helicopter, and you know what I'm saying? So that's how they...